Good morning. It is uh, Friday morning, January 17th, 2020, and it is almost 9 a.m. And I just got a snack ready for um, me and the kids because it's time to eat again, apparently. <laughs> they're, they're very used to their school schedule of having a snack at school um, about this time, but I thought I'd show you what I made for the snack. Um, these are cookies, or crackers and crackers, that I got from Pequeño Mundo, which is like the import, Chinese import store. They're called Lexus. I have no idea why. And they're supposedly vegetable flavored. Um, they're pretty good. They're pretty, they're pretty mild, so I wouldn't say that they're overly vegetable flavored. Um, they are imported from, hold on, Malaysia. These are imported from Malaysia. And then we have Dos Pinos, which is a which is a, a in-country brand. Dos Pinos is the big dairy brand here. Um, chimichurri flavored, so Sabor Chimichurri is chimichurri flavored cream cheese dip. And let me tell you, I have tried a lot of different uh, flavored cream cheeses here because it's kind of a, this thing that they have lots of. There's a lot of different flavors in the grocery store. If I get a chance, I'll show you next time. And this is by far my favorite, the chimichurri cream cheese dip. And the kids were like, Lila's like, I don't know. It's got onion and something green and vinegar. And I'm like, nope, that is not onion. That's garlic, parsley, and oh, she said peas. <laughs> You're supposed to be listening to your Bible. Um, but it's actually garlic and parsley and I believe olive oil. Anyways, it's really, really good. It's by far my favorite. Both girls actually like it. So anyways, a couple crackers and some dip for snack. Lige and I just finished up shopping. Beats. That price mark doesn't even hear me at all because the wind is so strong. Check out this gorgeous view. That price mark. All right, Lila, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was just starting a video. We are uh, just left the house again. Mommy's got to go shopping again. Hey, Ellie. And... <laughs> We're gonna hit up El Rey for some things that Jeremy needs, and then we're gonna go across the street over to the mall and go to the grocery store. And get a Kindle bag. So, quick update: we finished all our shopping at El Rey. We got some things we needed. The girls got new backpacks for school, um, so this is this is good. I went ahead and spent a little more on the backpacks than I would normally want to because I was able to get them both backpacks with um, wheels which um, is super necessary when you're walking to school and they have not only do we walk to school they have to carry back and forth to and from school every book that they that they have they have to take all their books back and forth every day because of the way the school is set up because they share classrooms there's nowhere for them to to store any to store much there's like one little I think uh, bookshelf where they had boxes of uh, supplies that they don't use as often but as far as the notebooks and books go everything comes home and goes back every day so it is a stinking heavy backpack and the one that Lila had last year was one we got on clearance like at the end of like midway through the year and she used it quite a bit this before this we were carrying them we were just carrying everything um, but it hurt my back so bad it was very uncomfortable so i tried i actually dumped a bunch of books into um the backpack and put it on my back to see if it was good also the the thing that didn't work about lila's other backpack was it was too short for me to drag like i couldn't roll it myself for her so i always had to put it on my back always hurt and so now i'm gonna have two girls with really heavy backpacks so we went ahead and got backpacks and but these were way cheaper these are about half the price than some of the other ones i was seeing so I will show you those when we get home. And we also went grocery shopping, got some groceries, and the light is green, so I'm gonna stop there. All right, so I just barely missed the light. But anyways, I was gonna show you. We got, I got groceries, and I got a table. So, oh, hi guys, say hi. Hi. Uh, I got a table so that we can have it for refreshments um, at, the, at our Bible study. And I got some other things that we needed from El Rey as well. So we are on our way home now. As promised, here are the two new backpacks. Um, I actually personally tried on several styles and this was the most comfortable and the most reasonable price. So um, 
Ellie's is on the left and Lila's is on the right. Poor Lila took forever to make her decision, but Ellie knew right away that that's the one she wanted. It was very sweet. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Jeremy's famous homemade hamburgers and french fries. We are really going for it tonight. It's gonna be delicious. Jeremy also really, really does make amazing hamburgers. I'd rather have his hamburgers than pretty much anybody else's. Certainly better than McDonald's. Good morning. It is Saturday, January 18th, 2020. And Jeremy had a breakfast meeting this morning pretty early. So the kids and I are having our muffins and pastry for breakfast that we picked up yesterday from the grocery store. The girls got to pick um, from the grocery store, from the bakery section, what they wanted. How are they? Pretty good? Yeah, not bad. Well, do you like your, oh, there goes your cup. Do you like your muffin? Do you like your muffin, Elijah? I can't think past this cup. Elijah, do you like your muffin? No, not at all. It's only more than half gone. You do like it, yeah? Is it yummy? <laughs> mm, that's a bigger half than I was eating. Well, that's because that's the half I put butter on. Is that yummy? Mm. Leave it this. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it down? Okay. Okay. All right, so yesterday we got Cool Whip for the first time. Alexa, pause. We got Cool Whip for the first time. I'm not sure that these kids have had Cool Whip before. I know Elijah hasn't. Maybe. I've had it before, but I don't remember it. You don't remember what it's like? The tiny spit before. You, okay, so you have had it before, but not very much. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Elijah, you want to try some? Oh. A dinosaur bite. All right, you want it now? <laughs> Get a big bite, bite, buddy. Take a dinosaur bite. You just keep putting your lips on it. Get a big bite. What do you think? Like it? You no, like it or not? If you don't like it, mommy's gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Okay. And this is why you shouldn't so distracted. I'm like, I got this, I can do this. And it's completely backwards. This is how it should look. And I flipped it completely. I'm a little tired. Hopefully I've got enough there to save that I can, I don't wanna seam rip that. I'm just gonna have to trim it. That's too much to seam rip. So let's try for round two. Well, it is far from perfect, but it is passable, and that's where I'm going to leave it. <laughs> so now just the hemming left to do, and these will be finished. All right, for better or for worse, the PE shirts are finished down to the hems. So thankfully that's done. Now I can move on to getting Lila's school skirts done, and then I believe we shall have everything we need for her, for their starting school, until I get the school supply list. I don't have the school supply list yet, so... We may be missing some things there, but I have done, we've done our best to pull some things from what we already had that we knew they needed last year. So, uh, moving on to the skirts. The first uh, school skirt is done. Um, I've tried it on Lila for length and size, and it actually fits very nicely. Um, it does need to be hemmed, so I will be flipping this under and hemming it, but I'm gonna do all the skirts at once. And it also has, a pair of shorts attached underneath. So first school skirt is done and then I'm gonna see how many more I can get from the leftover fabric and hopefully at least two more. And once I have them all sewn up, then I'll hem them all at once. So I am down here cutting out the other two school skirts. I wanted to show you like this was all I had left for fabric. like. I just barely squeezed out the two skirts and the two pairs of shorts and the two waistbands out of um, the, so three skirts in total out of the two yards of fabric. It was just enough. So I should have kept the packaging to show you, not that it would matter because they don't sell this in the States, but tonight we are having chicken and it is cooked, it, it comes, the package are these like wrappers, these paper wrappers that have um, seasoning. 
on the inside and you wrap up the chicken and you cook it for seven minutes on each side and it smells amazing up in here. So we're having that chicken for dinner and then a pot of rice. So we'll probably eat the chicken and the rice together. And then I've got some green beans over there in the uh, Instant Pot. So it's shaping up to be a pretty good dinner. Um, the only thing I had help with was Jeremy. I had bought like, I don't know, three kilos of chicken, which is a kilo is 2.2 pounds. And so he separated it for me and it was like six bags of chicken. So that was about $15. So $15 for about six meals. Not too bad. Uh, not too bad at all. So there it is, that delicious smelling and looking chicken uh, with those wrappers. And it, I think it's going to be really good. So one last thing to end this video. I am currently, we have one batch out of the oven already. And then the second batch is uh, finishing up. These are some ginger molasses cookies. I just, molasses cookies is what the recipe was called. Um, I have this bottle of molasses. When I was going through the cabinets and pulling out all the stuff that was expired, this bottle of molasses, this is gonna be crazy if I can find it, there it is, was best by, it's hard to see that date. It doesn't wanna focus, but it was best by, there it is, October 15th, 2016. I think it's quite possible that this bottle of molasses actually came to, or came from Nicaragua when Jeremy went and got our stuff. So I'm trying to find a way to go ahead and get it used up. I just opened it, it was not even open. I don't think molasses is, I mean, I think we're gonna be fine. It's, it, it's molasses. It doesn't seem like one of those things that goes bad. But anyways, so I'm like, what can I use molasses for? Molasses cookies. And maybe we'll try something also with like barbecue sauce in the near future. But I'm going to try to get that bottle used up. Because I don't need it because somebody's having a conniption in there. Because they actually sell brown sugar here. This brown sugar is also expired, so that went into the cookies as well. <laughs> but anyways, um, a little too much ginger on this one, but still not bad. And we might eat them, Jeremy thinks I'm crazy, with a little bit of the Cool Whip. But anyways, that is going to be all for today and for this video. Hope you enjoyed.